Hey race fans, welcome back to another edition of Under Starters Orders. Thomas Yarbrough with you here every week bringing you the in-depth action on the NGK Formula One Powerboat Championships as we gear up for the 2020 season. As you look around here, your surroundings might look a little bit different. Well, that's because this week we got a special treat for all the NGK fans out there as I was able to go on site with Lucky 13 Racing here and the driver behind the wheel, Aaron Wackles, to talk about what they've been up to over the last couple of years and what they're looking to do for 2020. Um, boy, it's been a couple of years since we've seen you. I know we saw you on the NGK series in 2018 um, and then you took a bit of a hiatus last year. Um, hoping, you know, sounds like we're going to be seeing the Lucky 13 Racing back on a race course in 2020, but let's dial it back. 2018, first year on the NGK series. What was that like for you in Lucky 13 Racing? It was a lot of fun. Uh, we, you know, we got out, did a lot of racing, learned a lot of things in the boat, and uh, we also that was that was really the first time that I had an opportunity to go out and race with 20 plus boats on the course. So that uh, that really kind of honed in some of my skills and, uh, and and brought my driving level up a notch or two. So <laughs> you know, um, outside of a couple of unfortunate incidents at uh, at a couple of the races, um, you know, we were doing pretty good. Yeah, you're really moving your way up the pack throughout the season once, especially you got yourself comfortable. Then, obviously, a lot of uh, work that you had to put in to keep the boat on the course in 2018. And then 2019, it seems as you took a, a bit of a step back. Tell me what that was all about. Well, we did that uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, my daughter also races locally here with us in Twin City Power Boat Association. And uh, I got her a 60 boat, so we were getting her dialed in on that. So I was really kind of concentrating on getting her up and running. Right. And at the same time, um, a year ago, we, uh, we built, bolt, built some molds off of the uh, aero slot that I was racing. Okay. So we put a lot of time, a lot of, a lot of money, a lot of effort, and uh, had a lot of help getting those molds made. Yeah, and uh, as obviously normally it's just uh, me and the driver notice a little different here today. We got the whole crew. Obviously, they were pretty important to this project um, and Lucky 13 Racing and so much that you, you asked them to be a part of today, which I'm super grateful for. So who do we got here with us on the team? Well, we got uh, my crew chief, Jeff Baker. Hi. We got his son and, and uh, helper here at Vampire Sport Boats, Josh. And then we also have Tyler Peterson, who's also uh, races locally with us. And uh, he's been very involved in helping me get this boat built. Let's talk about that boat. Obviously, look behind us. We got it all covered up. Yeah, that's for suspense people. Um, we got it all covered up here, but uh, you, you roll out the name Vampire Sport Boats. What drove you to say, you know what? I think I can build one of these myself and I can make it uh, maybe even better than the last one I had. Well, you know, we had, uh, I've, been, I've been working on boats and doing uh, fiberglass repair for many years. And uh, got involved with Jeff here about 10 years ago, and we started building some of our own, our V bottoms, mm. V bottom race boats that we uh, that we race locally here in Minnesota, and uh, those things have gone really well. We've learned a lot over the years building those and putting them on the water. Mm -hmm. And uh, boy, I just figured, why couldn't we do the same thing with the tumble? Right on. Well, uh, and, and looks like uh, we're going to be unveiling the world premiere of the first ever Vampire Sport Boat Formula One Tunnel Hall. And boy, I'm super excited to take a look at this thing. Should we take a look? Absolutely. Well, we told you we were gonna unveil the world premiere of Vampire Sport Boats. Aaron, been a lot of sweat and tears into this project. Are you excited? Absolutely. You ready to show the world? I am, and I can't wait to get in it. Right on. All righty, well, let's take a look here at the Vampire Sport Boat Formula One Tunnel Hall. Boy, that's a slick design. All black, all, all carbon fiber. No, we have uh, we have actual multiple uh, different materials that we use in this. Carbon fiber is one of them. Okay. We use carbon fiber. We use some uh, space age technology uh, foam boards. Okay. We've uh, we've integrated several different things into it, and, and also some carbon fiber uh, Kevlar hybrids. Okay. Very right nice. So from the outside, looks fairly similar to the Lee Aero Slot that you've been running for the last handful of years and you did in the 2018 NGK season. What are you hoping to get out of the Vampire Sport Boat here uh, as we hope to see it on the water in 2020? And where do you see Vampire Sport Boats going uh, in the future? Well, what I'm hoping to get out of this one here is, uh, is I'm hoping to get a faster boat. Quicker out of the turns, faster off the dock. And just all around, I'm hoping this thing rides better. Uh, we've changed a lot of placement in, internally. Okay. We've done a lot of internal improvements and, uh, and changes. 
and we're hoping that these kind of things are going to really help set the boat apart and, uh, and really make it a lot better than what it was. Um, and we're going to just see how things work. And if things work out well this year, we're, uh, we're going to keep on building them. Well, adding to the stable, we had Hoffman and Composite Craft coming into the game in 2019. We got Vampire Sport Boats coming into the game in 2020. Aaron, um, always a pleasure to hang out with you. Appreciate you taking time here in Understarter's orders on the NGQ F1 Series. And we look forward to seeing Lucky 13 Racing and Vampire Sport Boats out duking it up for the 2020 title. Aaron, thank you so much. He's Aaron Wachholz. I'm Thomas Yarbrough, and we'll see you next week.